Dr. Fauci has appeared alongside Trump on numerous occasions, but statements contradicting the White House have put him at odds with the president. The current state is really not good. There have been several instances where Trump has stated his disapproval of Fauci, including retweeting criticism stated without evidence that the CDC, the media, doctors and Democrats are lying about the coronavirus. But Trump continues to maintain he has a good relationship with Fauci. I find him to be a very nice person. I don't always agree with him. Over the weekend, several news outlets reported the White House leaked a memo seeking to discredit Fauci. ABC News was one of the news outlets that obtained the memo. In reports, it says several White House officials are concerned about the number of times Dr. Fauci has been wrong on things, then provided examples when Fauci contradicted himself. But White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany aimed to quash claims the memo attempted to undermine Dr. Fauci. The notion that there's opposition research and that there's Fauci versus the president couldn't be further from the truth. Dr. Fauci and the president have always had a very good working relationship. We've never had a situation where... The White House had already attempted to sideline Fauci, in some cases blocking him from interviews with the media. In an interview with the Financial Times, the nation's top infectious disease expert says it's probably due to his blunt nature, saying not sugarcoating things is probably one of the reasons why he hadn't been on television very much lately. Unlike the numerous other advisors let go during the Trump administration, Fauci cannot be fired by the president, meaning the White House has few options when it comes to Fauci contradicting its narrative and it faces an uphill battle when it comes to public opinion. A New York Times poll published late last month found a wide margin of voters support Fauci over Trump. 67% of participants say they trust Dr. Fauci as a source of information about the coronavirus, while only 26% said the same thing about Trump. The divide calls into question Trump's handling of the coronavirus, the largest in the world, and puts his administration at odds with a health expert with decades of experience as cases continue to surge. Timothy Ulrich, CGTN.